it great to have a hometown hero? Yeah. And Aaliyah was just incredible in London. She swam the leg of the 4x100 in a spectacular 54.56 seconds, a personal best. But I don't think anybody is surprised with her success. Why wouldn't a world-class Olympian hail from the world's greatest city? And why wouldn't a world-class Olympian have trained right here at this great complex, Asphalt Green? Thank you so much. Uh, this is kind of overwhelming, but for all the best reasons, I'm just so lucky to have all of your support, and I'm just so happy that you guys are here to share this moment with me, or we're all here together to share this moment together. Somebody asked me through all of this if Leah's head was big enough to fit through the door, and I thought, I can't imagine Leah having an ego. That's not her personality. Um, and so, but as a sprinter, you need them to have a little bit of that, maybe overly confident is the right way to say it. Um, so it's an interesting combination because she'll be very relaxed, very mellow, laid back, tell her what to do, she'll do it. And, uh, and then when she gets in the pool and races, um, she's, she's aggressive, which is a really fun combination in an athlete. I think it was kind of a blur. I, it was hard to actually process what was going on. Um, like it's just weird because you see you see it all or you don't see it all the time. You see it every four years people uh, standing on the podium at the Olympics. Like just something so grand. Uh, it's kind of weird to think about. That was just nice. I was trying to look for my family the whole time in the stands, and uh, it was nice to see the U.S. team there cheering for us and standing up and waving their flags. And uh, it's just all a really surreal moment.